This last question, uh, I think, is a brilliant question. Kevin Hendricks, obviously, is a master question creator. And so I'm just going to read this question that he asked me in terms of Pressgram. By opting out of Instagram, won't churches be missing out on a huge community where they may have influence? That's a great question. And the answer is yes. They will be opting out of an existing large-scale community. And I think that's okay because Pressgram and Instagram can live together. You can have Instagram for posting pictures and grabbing all that attention perhaps if you, as you like and all those likes. But you can also have Pressgram as an official communication device for the kind of the public facing uh, web. So I, I see this as kind of two, two different strategies per se. Um, some may actually include them as the same application and just have one. But I imagine that many, many people, many organizations may have both Instagram and Pressgram live side by side. They may have personal accounts like the senior pastor or significant leaders within your organization may keep their Instagram accounts. But there might be an official Pressgram account that publishes official images straight to the, the WordPress powered blog uh, for the organization or the church or the nonprofit giving it that stamp and being able to control that messaging as I, as I shared before. Some churches um, may just go all in on Pressgram and say, you know, we really want our pastors and our leaders to use Pressgram um, so that they, we can control the messaging and so we can post to images to the blog and the site. Many pastors and, and leaders now um, have their own personal blogs, so they may use Pressgram as a communications device for their blog in particular. So there are many different ways that you can cut it. The question, though, is all that influence in Instagram, so to speak, is it working? Is it actually drawing people closer to your organization and ultimately Christ? Is it drawing people actually to the gospel? And we could argue that all day long, but it can be very difficult, at least from my perspective, to say, hey, Instagram really is an incredible evangelical tool. I'm not so sure about that. But I, what I do know is that is it, it is our prerogative, it is our responsibility to control as much messaging as we can so that we can create that cohesive experience for others. And so whether or not you're opting out of a significant network and opting into a much smaller one, and hopefully it'll grow, it will have a, a social network component, is up for grabs. I'm not dogmatic about implementation. I think churches um, and individuals are smart enough to create their own experience with the actual application. But there is certainly a give and take. And of course, they can live together if you'd like. It's a great question. There's not a definitive answer for sure. But for me and, and my organization and the organizations that I oversee, creative control is vastly important. And our blog, and our WordPress powered sites are the way that we consistently create community. We're consistently creating our brand awareness, we're marketing our products or our services or just our ideas. And that's vastly important. Instagram may come and go, other social networks may come and go, but certainly a WordPress powered blog managed by us, owned by us, um, is going to stay, stay the, the test of time, stand the test of time. And so we want to create applications and we want to be able to create communication devices that attach themselves to something that we have more control over. Great question, Kevin. Uh, I've thought about it for a while, but I love it. Thank you so much for giving me some time on the blog. I'll see you guys later.